This is the celiac artery originating from the abdominal aorta at the level of T12 vertebrae. It gives rise to left gastric artery, splenic artery and common hepatic artery. Left gastric artery gives esophageal branches which supply the lower one third of the esophagus. Later, it runs along the lesser curvature of the stomach to anastomosis with the right gastric artery. This is the splenic artery which travels retroperitoneally along the pancreas to reach the spleen. Before entering the spleen, it gives left gastroepiploic artery. This left gastroepiploic artery runs along the greater curvature of the stomach, where it anastomoses with the right gastroepiploic artery. This is the common hepatic artery, which gives rise to three branches, right gastric artery and hepatic artery proper, which divides into left hepatic artery and right hepatic artery. Cystic artery is a branch of right hepatic artery. This is the gastroduodenal artery which runs along the pust behind the pust part of the duodenum where it, where it in turn gives rise to superior pancreatic duodenal artery and right gastroepiploic artery. Clinical correlation. Any ulcer in the posterior wall of the duodenum may perforate and lead to massive bleeding in the peritoneal cavity. It is due to gastroduodenal artery.